The Divia Heros website is where you fill out your customs health and immigration forms. The QR code you get from this website will be needed to check in for your flight to Cuba. This is a requirement of the Cuban government for all travelers, even Cuban citizens. Start by going to the Divia Heros website. It's linked below in the description. You can change the language by selecting this button above and selecting your preference. If you scroll down on the home page, you'll see a video that gives a basic overview of the purpose of these forms. It shows you the sections you'll complete, but doesn't tell you how to fill them out. Further down is a link to a PDF with helpful information about entry requirements and what you're allowed to bring into Cuba. This information is in both English and Spanish. To start the form, let's click Form Request. The first thing you'll notice is that some boxes are outlined in red. These are mandatory fields. If you don't see them in red, you can choose to leave them blank. In the name section, you'll want to fill out your name exactly as you have it on the passport. Middle name and second last name are optional. It's always a good idea to pay attention to the date format when filling out important travel documents. Your birthday needs to be in the format day, then month, and then year. So Jane's birthday is the 1st of January, 1999. Now you're going to fill in your nationality information. If you want to select United States of America, you'll use USA. Next, your passport number, where you live, and your email. On this calendar, you'll see you can only choose from a couple of days, because you can't fill out the form more than 48 hours before your arrival. For flight number, you can include the letters or just the numbers. Seat number is optional. For our travelers, the port of entry will usually be Jose Marti Airport. Your country of origin is where you're flying from, not where you live. For travel reason, you'll select tourism. This section is to tell the government where you're going. Guests on our tours stay in one of three municipalities, either Havana Vieja, which is Old Havana, Plaza de la Revolución, which is Vedado, or Centro Havana. If your casa is in a neighborhood other than Havana Vieja, it will be specified. Otherwise, you can just assume you're staying in Havana Vieja. Your type of accommodation is house or room for rent. Next, you'll fill out the health section. Even though most of these fields are optional, fill them out. If you have any of these symptoms due to a cause that's not an illness, for example, reoccurring allergies or vomiting and diarrhea due to a hangover, there's no reason to check any of these boxes. However, if you are sick, especially with COVID or flu symptoms, please postpone your trip with our flexible postponement policy. Remember, since you're traveling in close quarters with a group of people, you don't want to get them sick. Cuba does not have any vaccine or testing requirements, but I think it's a good idea to fill out this information anyway. Now we come to the customs information form. On this form, you only need to fill out three things. Number one, the unaccompanied baggage, you're going to click no. Then you're going to add your children that are under the age of 10. Each member of your family over 10 years of age will need their own form. Then at the bottom of the form, you're going to indicate that you have nothing to declare. Most travelers just bring personal items and maybe some gifts. You'd want to say gifts rather than donations to a customs agent. None of this requires you to declare and you're allowed to bring up to $5,000 per person or the equivalent without having to declare. That's it. You submit the form and it generates the QR code. The code is also supposed to go to your email, but since sometimes it doesn't work, you'll want to take a screenshot. In the email, you'll also get a private code in case you need to go back and edit your form. This has been Sarah with Cuban Adventures. Thank you for watching and make sure to hit like and subscribe for more Cuba travel tips and content.